Hello and welcome to my toy corner. I'm going to take a look today at Gremlins. I recently featured the Gizmo, the Mach Y, and uh, you know I held off as long as I could, but I just kept looking at this flasher Gremlin and just cracking up. So I finally, uh, thanks to my uh, wonderful spouse, was able to obtain this guy. So I'm going to show him to you and uh, take a look at him and open him up. So uh, you got the cover art, the funny cover art there with him coming out of the box. Uh, Gizmo in there on the front inside you can see you get a lot of bang for your buck uh one of the things i like about these with the uh the child's play chucky um the mogwai the gizmo i mean you've got glasses you've got a visor you've got a hat hammer drink cars you've got all these accessories that come with this so this is a really i mean just an amazing amount of accessories that you get for this figure so it's not like you're getting shorted for that uh, $30. Of course, this is the ultimate version, and they usually come a little heavy, but I just think this one is, is a, a amazing amount of accessories, so really pleased with that. Got the gremlins on the side. Some screen, or, uh, some photographs of the figure himself in action there and all of his mischievous poses and a little synopsis of the movie. If for some reason you would like the barcode, there's that. Same thing on the side as the other side and the top as well. So, let's get him opened and take a look. But before I do that, I just want to make one comment. And by no means do I want this to be interpreted as a complaint. I love this figure. It's an outstanding figure with detail, posability. It's great in its own ecosystem. I just am so confused on what NECA uses as a basis for their scale. You've got Stan Lee next to Gizmo here, which is about a six... She's about an average six inch... Uh, Marvel Legends figure and he's about as tall as the, the gremlin the gremlin scales great with gizmo But you look at things like the King Kong being bigger than Godzilla that I've reviewed before I just don't get it, but again, it's great in its own ecosystem. It's a fantastic figure It's not a complaint. It's just a question. Maybe somebody can answer in the comments. That would be much appreciated All right, got him out of the box here I'm just before I uh, unpack these because it's gonna make uh, a mess with like I said all these accessories I just want to get a closer look so that you can appreciate everything that they put in there that I mentioned. This is just an incredible amount of detailed, good accessories. Not cheap, not uh, flimsy. I mean, this is the good stuff. This solid plastic, uh, phenomenal amount of accessories here. You get the hat. And I thought this was a pack. These are actual individual burnt cigarettes, used cigarettes. That's just incredible. Glasses, the visor, and a sock puppet, hand puppet. The mug, mallet, chips, and if you notice, it's even got popcorn spilled on this little pile of chips and cards. You got a pretty good hand there. Eh, no, actually, it's not a great hand. Um, this is a good hand, though. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> extra hand for the grip. I assume that's for the mallet and the mug and everything else, and then a little bow tie. So you can see him. He's ready to strut his stuff in the back. So I am going to have to find a very, very solid place to put those cigarettes because i know I'm, I'm gonna lose those so he is with the glasses he's gonna chill with those glasses on for a second while i show you some of the accessories uh just to highlight this you got the hat of course the mallet does go in the grippy hand i swapped that out while i was uh in the transition there so the mug i think the best way i could find to fit the mug in was through this hand right here it's not actually gripping the handle of the mug but uh it fits perfect so i'm guessing that's probably what it's, what it's designed for uh the sock puppet the puppet um obviously it can stand in, the, in uh, alone on its own it's pretty good but you there's actually a peg so the dun, 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 see if i can get you to see it here there it was there it was there's a peg hole in there it actually fits right in the peg hole for the the wrist from the hand so you would pop the hand off and the puppet would go on so just so you know that's um how that would work of course the visor there <laughs> don't need the sunglasses and the visor i'm not 100 percent sure how the cards are supposed to go that's the only way i could figure out to get them obviously he's not looking at his hand but you get the idea the cigarette would just go in the mouth and the mouth um, closes and opens so you could lay that on there and there's that extra hand like I said now I don't know um, how to get this up because I thought maybe it would pop apart but so I don't know maybe the I don't know I'm, I'm kind of at a loss on the bow tie all right so 
we had shoulder rotation, full shoulder fly. Like I said, he's got those arms. It's just shy of a full shoulder fly, actually, because uh, of the scaling, the, the armor kind of on his shoulders. Um, but they do spin around. And this is a very stiff, it's a very stiff figure, but it's good. It's, it's, it's stiff in a good way. <laughs> He's moving, but not, uh, not loosey-goosey, but you, you don't want him to. Um, of course, the elbow does spin around. I know you can hear that shaking. I'm sorry. The wrist does hinge up, up like that, and it spins around. It's, it also wobbles just a little bit, not a whole lot. But there's a little bit of a wobble, but the wrist does have a hinge there. So there's that. All right, so the other thing I want to notice or point out um, is the amazing amount of emotions and expressions that you're going to be able to get out of him because just like the Mogwai Gizmo, these ears rotate and flip up. So you're going to be able to get a lot of, a lot of emotion and expression. And on top of that, on top of that, you also have a hinge on the neck so you get a joint there at the top of the neck and a joint which I didn't expect I figured one or the other but you've got a joint in the right here in the collar too so there's a lot of possibility for him to spin that around move look jaw open jaw closed just I mean, I, I mean I'm just amazed at this so the waist has a full wobble hivel there wobble swivel there so that's another amazing thing and it's something here that i would have never thought to look at i guess i don't look at the back side of a gremlin but that, doesn't that kind of look like a like a scaly prawn backside i don't know that's what it kind of looks like to me well, kind of creepy when i'm looking at it but uh so the the knees are good uh they go back actually a lot farther than i expected obviously because of that armor plate on the kneecap you're not going to get a whole lot there but you've got a small joint here. Kind of like the joint on the back leg of a horse, uh, torso, I think it's called, something like that. So the foot doesn't swivel, or excuse me, doesn't doesn't have a hinge, but it does swivel back and forth. So, but I think that, that uh, rotation on that second joint on the leg, where the, uh, you know, this, this calf joint would be, is gonna help you a lot with a lot of potential movement. If, but other than that, I mean, he's, he's scales good with gizmo, um, and that's the important thing so you can get to at least the whole line will will uh, be consistent. So uh, thanks for watching